Okay, another quick algebra lesson. This time we're talking about adding and subtracting fractions. Okay, so how do you add things together? Okay, how do you add fractions? And a fraction is just a percentage, a partial of a whole, right? So in this case, we have one-sixth of a whole, right? Plus four-fifths of a whole. Now, number one, you can't add fractions together unless the denominators are the same. Okay, so you know how do you remember that? This the top up here is called the numerator. Okay, and the bottom is called the denominator. Denominator. Sounds like a monster truck, doesn't it? Everybody watch for the denominator. Okay, how do you remember that? You know the way I remember this is silly, but the de the denominator is down. It's in the bottom. It's down. And it starts with a D, and so does down with a D. I don't, that's just how I remember it, okay? So the only way you can add fractions together is if the denominators are common. You can't add a 6 plus a 5 because they're not the same. So how do I make them the same, okay? I'm going to have to find a least common multiple. We did that in the last video, right, of 6 and 5. I think the least common multiple of 6 and 5 is 30, okay? So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take 1 sixth and I'm going to multiply it by 30 over, uh, no, no, I'm not either. No, I'm not. How about this? I'm going to multiply it by 5 over 5. Okay. And then the 4 fifths, I'm going to multiply that by uh, 6 over 6. Okay. Now, why am I doing that? Number one, what is 5 divided by 5? That's 1. I can multiply anything by 1, and I don't change the thing, do I? What's 17 times 1? Still 17, right? So I've multiplied both of these by 1, but I've been clever about this because 6 times 5 is what? 30. 5 times 6 is what? 30, right? So when I get through multiplying here, I am going to have a common denominator. Okay, so... 6 times 5 is 30. 1 times 5, so I'm going to multiply the bottom together, multiply the top together, right? So 1 times 5, that's just 5, plus 4 times 6 is 24, and 5 times 6 is 30, okay? Now, I can add those together. I got apples and apples, and I can add apples to apples easy, right? The bottom is just stays the same. It's still 30. But what is the top? I just add the, the numerator together. So 5 plus 24 is 29. Okay? And so this evaluates to 29 thirtieths. Okay? And just leave that in a fraction form that doesn't divide out, doesn't reduce. And so that's the answer. Okay, what about this one? Okay, now right off the bat, if I want to get rid of these parentheses, can I get rid of those parentheses? Yes. But I've got a minus that I've got to distribute inside the parentheses. So I have a minus a minus, which becomes a positive. And then I can just get rid of the parentheses, right? Okay. Ooh, I've got a 14 over there. And I've got a 4. Yikes. Okay. And I've got a 2 over here. So least common multiple, what would that be? Okay. The least common multiple, let's see, 14, right, will factor into 2 times 7. And uh, 4 factors into 2 times 2. So those are common. So the, the least common multiple is 7 times 2. There's my 2 times that guy over there. One more 2. 7 times 2 is 14 times 2 more is 28. So the least common multiple to add these two guys together, right, is 28. So again, let's do that. Okay, so I want u into a 28. So that guy is going to be, let's see, 28 times 4. How about 7? 7 times 4 is 28, isn't it? So 7 over 4, right, multiplied by 7 over 7. Isn't that right? 4 times 7 is 28, right? And I just multiplied it by 1, didn't I? Plus... 1 over 14, which I'm going to multiply by 2 over 2. Okay, and where does the 
How do you know? Well, look at the bottom. 14 times 2 is what? 28. 7 times 4 is what? 28. Oh, that's good, right? So I've got this part, and then when I get through, I need to subtract 2 away from it, okay? So what is going to happen inside the parentheses here? Let's, let's do this multiplication here. This is going to give me... This is going to give me 7 times 7 is 49. And then 1 times 2 is just 2, which is going to equal 51 over 28. Okay? Uh, and then minus 2. Let's see. 51 over 28. Does that reduce? Okay, so this number, 51 over 28, does not reduce. So let's, let's see what that, that is. 51 over 28, do you remember how to do that? Let's try that. Let's do this. 51 divided by 28. Let's see, that goes in there. 1 time 28. Um, what is that? Uh, 51 minus 28. Borrow from you. Give them there. It's a 3 and a 2. At least 23. So, um... It's going to equal, 51 over 28 equals 1 and 23 28 That's our remainder, right? We had 23 left over, so 23 28 minus 2, okay? So if you subtract 2 from that, you get what? And here's the way I, here's the way I do that, right? How close is 23 over 28 to being a whole thing? Well, it's only 5 28ths away from being a whole thing, right? So the answer is going to be negative 5 over 28. Okay? And that is the final answer on that one. That's kind of tricky, isn't it? Okay, let's do this last one down here. Um, 2 thirds plus 1 third, do we have to do anything to that? No, we just add those together. That's easy. 2 thirds plus 1 third is just 1 minus 4 over 6. So 1 minus 4 over 6. Now, 4 over 6 will reduce, won't it? That'll reduce to, what will that reduce to? 2 over 3, won't it, if I divide that by 2 and that by 2? So now I get, um, whoops, let's, sorry. I get 1 minus 2 over 3, and 1 whole minus 2 thirds leaves... A third remaining, doesn't it? Okay? And there's the answer. So there's our three fraction problems worked out, adding and subtracting fractions. Step one, you got to get a common denominator, right? Step two, least common multiple to get that common denominator, right? And then just follow PEMDAS, add, add them together, and uh, we're good to go. All right.